So folks, Jesus says in, in, in Matthew, Matthew chapter 9, I believe it's verse 21 or 22, somewhere in one of those verses, 21 or 22, maybe it's 23. But, but Jesus says that if you can believe, all things are possible to the person who can believe. Now, if it's a preposition and it's a conditional term, so there's conditions. It means you're, you're, whether your belief manifests or not is dependent. There are variables and uh, each individual variables are unique to that individual. But what's common is that, in general, is that all of us, our belief is dependent upon our variables, uh, the conditions, hence if you can believe then all things are possible. And now I've been studying, you know, I have a, 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 a bachelor's in, a theolo in theology. So I have a background, a biblical background. I'm pretty well versed. I'm, I'm like this. I can hold my own in a Bible discussion debate. Uh, so, but I've been, I've, for the last several years, I've been going very, di very diligently, uh, very determined in, in physics uh, you know, studying a lot of physics and physics actually substantiates what I've learned se several years back in, 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 the, in theological studies. Physics substantiates what Jesus taught millennials ago, thousands and thousands of years ago, uh, thousands and thousands of years later, you have the great minds of, uh, you know, 20th century Max Planck, Niels Bohr, Thomas Young, Einstein, famously, everyone knows Einstein, the Copenhagen interpretation that transpired, I believe it was 1927, if my memory serves me correct. And these, these amazing scientific, you know, metaphysical physics, physicist minds substantiates what Jesus was trying to teach us. That if you can believe all things are possible and how, you know, how they substantiate it, you know, when you study physics and you understand that all, everything broken down to its purest, uh, uh, basic uh, and purest form is nothing but energy. Nothing is solid. Everything is energy. Uh, our thoughts are energy just at a different intensity, various in, different, varying intensities of thought, but still same energy, the same stuff. And, and physics, when you study physics, the, these physicists, whether it's Max Planck with quantum entanglement, that's what he, uh, that was his shtick, or whether it was uh, Thomas Young and Einstein debating as to whether uh, energy, this energy is particles or if it's a wave, and then Niels Bohr, who was the mediator, right, who who kind of, you know, was the, uh, the fight, brought around the, the finalization of uh it's both, you know, it's, which was called uh, wave, wave particle duality. That was Niels Bohr. He, that's his shtick. So th with, with these, what these men, what these masters of the universe substantiated were claims that Jesus made, if you can believe. Uh, again, which is conditional and contingent upon var variables. Uh, and these variables are your doubts, your insecurities, uh, your stick to itiveness your your gumption, your willpower, your determination, your ability to stick stick through and follow through to the end, all these are variables, right? Uh, in science, they call these things vectors. Yeah, these are vectors, which are quantities, right? So, you know, um, your amount of faith, your amount of belief, you know, th th these are called vectors, and these are all variables. Uh, but what, what I found even more fascinating, though, folks, what I found even more fascinating was not just what Jesus said, was, but what was the response of the man, right? Because the man symbolically represents us, you know, uh, all of us. We all have our doubts. And here's what he said. He said, I believe, help thou my unbelief. And when you study physics and, you know, these physicists, they teach you that your thoughts uh, that uh, interfaces directly with the sea of uh, energy in which we swim, right? You know how a, a fish swims in an ocean. That means its environment is cons its environment is made up of H two O completely. There's always water around the fish. 
Well, we are, imagine, use your imagination with me here. We are in our own ocean symbolically, but our ocean, unlike the fish, we can't see it. And the only reason we can't see it is because, the, again, I mentioned this before, the retinas, the cones, the rods in our eyes are not uh, fine-tuned to pick up those frequencies, right? Uh, just like our ears aren't fine-tuned to pick up certain sounds, like a, a dog whistle. Your dog will hear the whistle, but you won't because your ears are, are not tuned into that, that frequency. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with your eyes. Your eyes are tuned to a specific wavelength. So you can't see, we can't see the ocean that we're swimming in. And this ocean is an ocean of uh, energy. And our thoughts interact and connects and interfaces with this energy. So when you're thinking, what you're doing is your thoughts are shifting this energy around, moving it. You're moving this energy around. And why is this important? It's important because this shifting of particles is what creates what we call reality. And these men prove that there's no such thing as objective reality. There's only actuality. Actuality is what exists outside of the mind. Everything else is subjective. There's no objective reality. Why? Because your mind is constantly uh, manipulating, maneuvering, uh, twisting, uh, shaping, molding, forming, fashioning these energetic particles, which uh, once interact with, according to wave uh, probabilities, collapses into what is called your reality. It takes on a physical form. That physical form is dependent and determined on your intention. This is what Jesus was talking about. If you can believe. If. And again, the response is what really, uh, it was telling. His response is telling. It says, I, I believe, help my unbelief. And how many of us uh, watch a video, we get motivated and, you know, we watch a workout video and we go, yes, New Year's resolution, right? We set New Year's resolution and at the, 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 the first week of New Year's, we're all motivated. But after a couple of weeks, that motivation is lost. It's gone. Your New Year's resolution becomes resolved, right? You're no longer chasing it. Uh, you watch a, a you go to a seminar, a motivational seminar, you bring your books and you take all these notes and you're pumped up and, you know, Tony Robbins and one of these mo motivational gurus got you juiced up and ready to go. You leave there, you leave with a fresh sense of purpose and determination and then you go and you face your first rejection, you're still motivated, your second rejection, you're still motivated. Maybe after your third or fourth rejection, you didn't close that deal, uh, your car broke down, uh, you got a couple of phone calls from some bill collectors, you know, you backed up on some credit cards. All of a sudden, that motivation begins to dissipate. All of a sudden, it disintegrates. Eventually, it disappears. So this is why if you can believe, you see what I'm saying? This is what Jesus was saying. Because we, we all believe to some extent, right? But then uh, life happens and your belief begins to waver. It begins to vacillate. And, you know, you're now in between uh, two opinions of doubt. And belief, belief and doubt. So this is why the, the response from the man when he said, I believe, help my unbelief is very telling and insightful. It is extremely insightful. It speaks volumes as to how, why and how and, you know, it just speaks volumes as to the human condition. And it speaks volume as to why we don't achieve what we want to achieve. Because listen to what he says. I believe, conscious, that's conscious thinking. Help my unbelief, UN, on. UN is a, a what that would be a, a prefix, right? Usually what comes after UN, it tells you that it's under something, right? Like the word under, understand, uh, underperform. It's it usually, UN is a, is a prefix that denotes that something is below, you know, so under, right? He said, help my belief. No, I believe, help my unbelief. That unbelief rests in your subconscious mind. And that on, so you, so all of us without exception, and if we're going to be honest with ourselves, this is what we got to understand. You might not be aware of it, so I want to make you aware. All of us believe to some extent. We have a conscious, a modicum of belief. Right, uh, uh, we have a, a, a modicum of belief and a plethora of unbelief, and that's why the, the 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 response is so telling. We all have to understand that the reason we don't get things, and the reason things don't manifest, and the reason we can't reach certain goals is because under our conscious belief is our unbelief, and that unbelief 
conflicts with your conscious belief. Therefore, the message that you are transmitting into the sea of particles is a message of confusion, confliction, a message that is not clear. I mean, if I'm talking, if, if, if put it like this, if you go to China and you don't learn the dialect and you don't learn the native tongue, the vernacular of that region, you won't be able to thrive. You won't be able to excel. You won't be able to to really assimilate into that culture because you don't understand the language. You don't speak the language. So you might be thinking you're telling someone, hey, I want to play the food. And what you're telling them is, I want to eat your food. You, you see what I'm saying? Or you might be thinking you're telling, if you don't have a real good grasp on the language, you might be thinking you're saying hello to someone, but you're saying goodbye. So there's a so you see what I'm saying? You're sending mixed signals so the so that culture don't know how to respond to you or how to give you what you want in, intentionally because you're sending out a signal that's not concise, precise, accurate, and therefore uh, it's 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 again mixed messaging. And that's what we're all doing every single day unconsciously. Because even when you're sleeping, you're communicating with the universe. You communicate with the universe actually more when you're asleep than more than when you're awake. But that's another video. We'll discuss that later. Till next time, I'm Cooking Books, Bringing Info. You like the video, share it, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Peace.